there are several simple and reliable ways to test an ignition coil. Here I show you three of the easiest and most practical methods. It doesn't matter whether the coil is from the car or a motorcycle. Let's check them out together. Method 1. Testing with multimeter. Step 1. Testing the primary coil. To test the primary coil of the ignition coil, uh, we need to set the multimeter to the lowest resistance range. Turn on the multimeter and connect the multimeter's props to the positive and negative of the ignition coil. In some model, the negative is a body. The polarity doesn't matter. We should see resistance value here. The resistance of the healthy primary coil is usually between 0.2 and 5 ohm, depending on the coils. If the reading is very high or zero, the primary coil is broken. We have a 0.4 and 5 here. This primary coil is healthy. Now check another one. One prop to negative is body and other to the positive of the coil. We have a 1.3 and 4. 1.4 ohms. This primary coil is held. Well, that was the first step. In the next step, we need to the test the second rewinding of the ignition coil. Let's go to the next step. Step 2. Test the second rewinding of the ignition coil using a multimeter. To test the second rewinding of the ignition coil, you need to set the multimeter to the higher resistance range between 5 and 20 kilo. Turn on the multimeter. This time, Connect the positive prop of the multimeter to the ignition coil output, the spark plug wire. And another prop of the multimeter, the negative one. Go to the one of input of the ignition coil. You must see a resistance value here. In healthy coil, the resistance is usually between ohm to 50 kilo ohm. If the reading is zero or very low, the secondary coil is shorted or burned. We have a 2.94 here. It's okay. Now let's check the another one. We have a 3.08. It's perfect. Check the another one. Positive good the output. And negative good the one of the input. We have a higher resistance value here. It's okay. So that was the first method by measuring the resistance of primary and secondary winding of ignition coil. Now let's move on the second method, which is much simpler. Stay tuned. Method 2. Test the ignition coil with a battery. In this method you can easily test the ignition coil using a battery. This method works for most type of coils as well DC, AC and car coils. But you need to pay attention to this point. Take a 12 volt battery and connect the negative of the battery to the negative of the coil. That's it. After that bring the coil output wire close to the negative or body like that and leaving a small gap 
a few millimeters. And finally, touch the positive of the ignition coil with the positive of the battery using a wire. You must see very small spark here. You see that? That's it. A healthy wheel with a small spark. But remember, the connection should be momentary. A continuous connection can damage the coil. If there is no spark, the coil may be defective. Attention, the connection must be momentary, otherwise the coil will heat up and get damaged. 2. Avoid touching the coil output wires, as it carries high voltages and may give you an electric shock. So we've seen the first two methods, but there's still one more. The third method is more accurate and practical. Thanks for watching so far. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss the next videos. Thanks. Method 3 The Bench Test. In this method, we're going to the test the ignition coil practically on the bench to see how healthy it is. For this test, we need a three things a 12 volt battery you can use a power supply or motorcycle battery i use a three lithium battery in three dc type cdi unit with a socket and a pickup coil basically we're going to simulate the motorcycle ignition system on the bench if you're watching my previous video you've seen me use this method before now connect the CDI unit and pick up to the battery and ignition coil according to the CDI diagram. If you don't know how to do this, I've already made a video about it. I put the link in the description, you can check it out. That's it. Then we trigger the pickup, the CDI discharge and send about 200 volts to the ignition coil. If the ignition coil is in good condition, you should see a strong spark. See? The color and sound the spark show how healthy the coil is. The blue spark is great, but uh, if the spark is yellow or red or thin, the coil is probably weak. However, weak spark can cause a bar a lot of issues like a faulty CDI and something else. If you wanna check the CDI unit yourself, you can see the CDI test with the multimeter video. I put the video link in the description, you can check them out. Thanks for watching. What you saw today is just the beginning. There's a lot more coming. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss the next project. Trust me, you won't want to miss it.